Oh, yesterday's video was fun post-production. <laughs> I recorded all of it while I was on my bike, came home, uploaded it to the computer. This morning, woke up, went down to the bakery, got all air and stuff ready, went, came back, sat down, and then basically helped it. Uh, oh, I've been coughing a lot today. I have a lot of phlegm. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we got, what did I do? Oh yeah, and then I just basically watched the footage holding the cam that camera in my hand and then just spliced the audio out. And then I realized that there's a lot of downtimes where I was like, oh. and kind of zoned out and watching the footage, trying to see what and remember what was going to happen, yada yada. Cool. So I just stuck in a little audio track behind that, just thinking, oh, that's pretty cool, right? Anyways, so... <sighs> It sucks. The bone, so. It's like, it's just still roughly tender right around in here. And it sucks because I'm sitting here like, you know, stomp, you know, I, I haven't stomped. I don't want to shake anything up. It's one of those things that like the guys in the team don't really care. You know, they know I'm, good for it and left the speaker on um <laughs> but it's like going to practice and not doing anything because like oh you know and other guys do it too it's like oh my back oh this or they start going through the middle of practice i dislike going and not doing anything although you know emrys did the same thing you know he came sunday with a broken hand <laughs> Pinky. He broke his pinky. But, you know, maybe I'll get some footage practice today. I don't know. I am personally frustrated that I can't. I'm going to take the backpack so I'm not carrying the camera around like some weird doofus. I'll see how things go tomorrow. I'll do a little bit of swimming. Uh, I did research. Swimming, like, because it's not straining the muscle. It's not straining the leg in any way, so I should be okay with swimming as long as I'm going to be heading out here soon. Boss is out here working with the big boys. How's it feel? Painful. Of course it is. As my leg bone bruise shows, the trenches is not a nice place. You gotta be a tough person. So, uh, how accurate are you at a 25 yard kick? How accurate are you? It's 25 yard? Well. From there, it went uh, every time in. So, so, from 20? Yeah, but I'm working on my technique because normally I kick like a footballer and you kick it here. Aha! Uh -huh. But kickers kick it here. Oh, okay. I don't know. 
Like it's it's yeah, always nice to learn this information because I just not a thing. That's yeah. You don't want to kick with your like you. From what I understand, with punting, you want to kind of kick there. I was like, that's where he ends up. Oh, no! Uh, no! Perfecting the PAT? Yes. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But if I do it there, I constantly have to walk up and down, and then it goes wide. So now, uh, okay. practicing always hits the net. Yeah, yeah. So if That's, I go up, then it's... It's like when I would, when I would long snap, I'd, I would always go into a soccer goal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that way... Well, otherwise, you lose the ball. Well, plus, I also had three balls, so I could, like, lay them on the ground next to me, and then yeah. long snap, long snap, long snap, and... You know, you could buy your own. Yeah, yeah. But when I hit the ball, I know it's right or left. Well, it's same with me when I'm at linebacker. Like, if I overshoot or I step wrong and I know that I slid out, I, I immediately know it. <laughs> and that gets, gets me in my head sometimes and I get frustrated because it's like, I don't even get the chance. All right. Well, it went in. It went in. Sven looks like he had fun with the uh, lineman drills that I missed. You're all dirty. helping people with stuff. Um, Emmers wanted to get some shots of him actually hitting the ball and kicking, so I'm going to be modifying the freeze out right now. It's raining. I should probably have a hood up. Sitting there on the train back thinking, oh great, like my nose area was starting to feel really warm. And it's entirely possible I was on a train. It was like 21 on the inside. <laughs> you know, been in temp. <laughs> Ain't it? No, okay. That's good. Bout in temp. Five. Okay. Anyways. So, yeah. Um. I don't know. I'm going to see how my leg feels tomorrow with swimming. And then I'm going to head to. And then I'm going to test it out on. Like, Ed says it's okay, you're here every practice, we know you're motivated. And I'm like, I know, but you could do a lot of motivation, but if you don't you make any actions, and you're injured. Yeah, well, that's part of the problem. You know, you can't really do anything with bone bruises, you just gotta wait. I even talked to Cheyenne, she's like, you can't really do anything. 
even a couple other guys, at least it's not fractured. I was like, yeah, that's kind of why I'm taking it easy, because that's what happened last time. <laughs> you broke your shit? No, I broke my collarbone. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. I'm trying to get home, because while it is warm clothing, being the fact that it's my slicky pants with uh, my... Uh, which have the little bit of air gap because they're not you know, skin tight and then I have my thicker blue savage leggings on underneath my outer pants are currently wet it's actually really good in theory cold wet weather wet clothing because even if the wind comes by you know because of the heat and then it, w it wicks the heat away from my body and then puts it into that little gap between the pants and the legs and then that keeps everything really warm but a little bit of wind or I don't know completely soaked pants doesn't work very well <laughs> I mean it felt really good because then my warm my you know uh, this is not the greatest I probably should have wore something a little bit thicker but anyways I really want to get back to practice like I need to start working on things and I, I don't know I'm trying not to do rankings very well because I think in my head, oh wow, well, because I'd done this on with damage meters on wow, you know, why would I push my, why would I do my thing more than I'm already when I'm top of the damage meter? I mean now, so it gets really awkward when, so, and I know that about myself. So if I don't rank anything, if I don't talk about anything, if I don't see how well I'm doing, then I'll always give it the full gas. And I will chat with you guys later. I just put hands back in pockets so they get warm. Good thing I had that beer on the train. Uh, sign's still on. Lights are still on, but the outdoor. Oh yeah, they're already. Uh, the candles are still turned on. I don't care. I gotta go home. I'm gonna warm up.